Hey guys, Matt here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Windows 10 computer for little kids. Um, this also could be set up for maybe a guest, somebody that is, you know, staying at your house, or maybe you've got other people you just don't want messing with your computer too much. Um, that's what this video is for. But let's go ahead and stick with the little kid premise. I just set up my daughter's computer. Um, she's seven, she's got Windows 10. I'm just going to go ahead and do what I did for her. Uh, there's not too many steps and they're pretty easy. So what we have here is a brand new Windows 10 computer. We'll go ahead and sign in. I just created a fake account called Jim Bob. So Jim Bob is the administrator. So this would be like if you just bought Windows 10, you opened up the laptop, you set it up or desktop, whatever it is, and you set it up and it's, it's kind of ready to go. You think it's ready to go, but there's some things we need to check. So um, I am using a virtual computer right now. So this is why you see it's like a computer inside of a screen. I'm using VMware in case you're not familiar with that. All right. Um, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just make sure we have some antivirus. Uh, this computer I know is using Windows Defender. So you might want to check and see what your computer shipped with or what you've installed. But we need some sort of antivirus on there. The other two pieces of advice for preventing viruses, you know, adware, spyware, whatever you want to call it, um, is Malwarebytes. We're going to download a little program called Malwarebytes. You may not be familiar with it. It's just an extra piece of protection. You can go to uh, Malwarebytes.com. Don't do a search for it. Just go there. Just malwarebytes.com, right in the address bar. We're going to do a free download. They will give you like a two-week free trial. At the end of that trial, I would say buy it. So here's how easy it is to install. We'll just save it. It's just a few megabytes. Run it. So this is just, like I said, a second opinion um, for the antivirus that you already have installed. All right. And we'll hit finish. Go ahead and close that. Um, and it says, uh, how, how would you like to proceed? We'll just go ahead and say close right now. And I actually, I have used, uh, this, this computer, um, with Malwarebytes before. So that's why it's saying my trial has expired. So if I upgrade now, it brings up a window and you'll, you're going to have to do this. I think it's about 40 bucks a year. Yeah. There you go. 40 bucks a year. Way worth it. How you could, you could run this just by itself. It's so effective. So that's our little, uh, bit of a protection right there. Next, we're going to go ahead and do a search for unchecky. We'll go ahead and, so once again, do a search for unchecky. It's unchecky.com. Unchecky prevents you, as the administrator, from accidentally installing things. Um, when I say just, just add it, cause, just because it's so easy to install, you just hit install. And it's done. It's working. So it prevents you from kind of like, you know, maybe you're adding things on for your child, uh, for your kid, and you accidentally install a bunch of adware and stupid weather applications or shopping applications, things like that. It prevents all that. It just unchecks those um, out-of-the-way checkboxes, I would say, those checkboxes that you just do not notice. Okay, on some settings. Let's go ahead and click down here in the Windows area. We'll go ahead and click Settings. Let's go to Update and Security. And I've already checked for updates. You just want to make sure that you're checking for updates as well. You can click Advanced Options if you want more options. Uh, change the active hours when you can do your updates. Restart Options. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so just make sure you have that set up. Updates are extremely important. 
And uh, Windows Defender, like I said, if, you, if that's the antivirus you're using, go ahead and make sure it's turned on. All right, so now it's time to set up our child, our kid, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Let's go to Settings, Accounts. This is a little tricky, and you want to follow along here, definitely, because Microsoft really wants you to sign up with their info. They want to keep track of you. That's really annoying. So go ahead and, like I said, get in this menu. And let's go back again really quick. So we want to click Start, Build Start, Settings, Accounts, and we're going to do Family and Other People. We're going to add someone else. And right here it says, how will this person sign in? Skip all this. I don't have this information. Now they're going to try to collect more info. No. I want to add a user without a Microsoft account. Here we go. Username. Let's do Sophia. That's my daughter's name. You can add a password if you want or just leave it blank. Next. That's it. So now we have a Sophia account. It's a local account. The local account means they are extremely limited to what they can do. They can't change settings on the computer. They can't really install any software. And I'll give you a demo of that. <clears throat> the other thing, once we, once we've created her, you know, the kid's account, I, I would highly suggest that you add Google Chrome. Uh, I've had a lot of luck with this with my kids. So it's just a uh, Google. I'm sorry, I can't type sideways here. Dot com slash Chrome. Download Google, Google Chrome. Create a Gmail account. I'm not going to show you all that in this video, but make sure you create a Gmail account. That is kind of critical. So download for personal computers right there. Download Chrome, and you can install it. It only takes a few seconds. The other thing we want to do once we download Google Chrome is we have to install an ad blocker. Um, what you can do is just type in ad. Why well, use AdBlock Plus? A lot of people use uBlock Origin, whatever. These are getting a little harder to use because most sites are demanding that you turn them off because that's how they make money. That's how I make money when I'm making this video. I make money by displaying YouTube ads. If you have this turned on, I make zero money. And it discourages us from making more content, but you can turn it off uh, on certain websites if you want to support your content creators. So we're going to go ahead and install this for Chrome. The reason why I say go with an ad blocker is because there's a lot of websites out there that have really shady ads and they don't keep track of who's advertising on their site and they can distribute malware through those ads. As much as I hate to install an ad blocker, um, just because it's like another thing I have to add on to my computer, it's just necessary right now until the advertising industry gets a hold of these crazy ads. Now, if you would like to, you know, go to YouTube, dot com slash my channel and Rezos. Now you'd be blocking all, everything, all my ads right now. Just I would have no video ads or anything. I would make no money. And you can see it's blocking ads right there. If you want to support somebody who you like, you can click right here and say and uncheck that and say, okay, I would rather support this site. I have that for a few sites of mine. So right now we're just going to go ahead and leave that on. All right, so that's going to prevent certain sites like MSN, who are very like ad crazy, and they're getting around of they're getting around the the ad blocks and the U block origins and and these other ad blocking software, but it does help uh, to eliminate some of these uh, really in your face type ads. Uh, all right, that was a lot of words. Okay, so now. Let's go ahead and log in. We're going to switch accounts. So right here, if you click start, 
Let's go ahead and log in to Sophia. And it's going to go ahead and kind of set her up. And um, while she's getting set up, I do want to mention that your password on your account should be strong and your kids should not know it or your guests should not know your password, whoever. Because if they know your password, then they can go ahead and get in and install whatever software they want. So, so Sophia has no password right here. She just wants to go and do one thing only, and that's to go to YouTube.com and watch videos all the freaking time. Now, YouTube.com can be one hell of a shit show, uh, especially for kids. I mean, right away, you've got little kid in handcuffs, uh, big-breasted chicks, uh, all kinds of weird shit. I mean, YouTube is weird these days, but extremely effective uh, if you kind of limit how your kids watch it, but there is also a way that where you can not worry, worry as much, and that's right down here, restricted mode. If you go all the way to the bottom of your Google Chrome, you can go to restricted mode and turn that on. Now, you can lock restricted mode if you sign in with your Gmail account. This is key. You need to lock this. You don't want your kids just turning it off. So that would be the Gmail account you created for yourself. Not theirs, but the one you created for yourself. And then you would just, you would sign in and you would hit save. And then all these crazy, weird videos would just go away. It does help. I, I do go up there, I do spy on them, watch what they're doing, see what videos they're looking at. Very kid-friendly. I mean, YouTube's doing a hell of a job filtering out all the crazy shit out there. So, All right, well, let's give a demo on what happens when a kid tries to install something. Or even modify something. Let's say the kid does, doesn't want this on the computer. They try to delete it. Well, it's going to ask for my account, my password. They don't know it. They can't modify this computer. If I go to File Hippo, place I always get software from, and let's say I want to install, uh, well, I don't know, share it, wherever the hell that is. And you can see also um, the ad block. You have to install ad block for their account too, uh, which is kind of annoying. So you'd have to do that under their account as well. So that's uh, pretty crazy. If I try to install share it right now, same thing. Once my password, not going to happen. If I try to install an extension, I do believe if you know if I want ad block. I do believe those are okay. I think those go on. Just type around in here, Adblock Plus. If it does require your password, you definitely want to put your password in. Just make sure this is set up for your kids. Now let's go back to uh, File Hippo as an example. Go back to Share It. And now those ads are no longer in my face. I do have some, but you know what? Those ads are okay. They're just text ads, and then they're allowed based on the policies of Adblock Plus. You can see how many ads Adblock Plus blocked, 34. Pretty insane. That's just too much, too much, too much in your face, you know. And they deserve it. It shouldn't have so many ads. And I don't know. Kids don't need to see that crap. Okay. So uh, if you do need to install anything for your kids, you're going to have to log out of your kid's account. So right now we're inside Sophia's account. i got to go switch back to um, Jim Bob. And Jim Bob doesn't have a password right now. That was my mistake. But let's pretend he has a really strong one. So you'd have to log into his account and install the software for your kids in this account. So that kind of sums it up. I know I talked extremely fast, way faster than I normally do. 
But if you watch the video maybe twice or something, you'll get the idea. It's it's really easy to set up Windows 10 for your kids. And, and it goes beyond that. I do have uh, web filters around the house. Um, so any device that they're on is filtered. I, I, I'll try to do a video on that. Um, and Windows 10 offers a, a few more tricks to block websites at, according to certain times and things like that. But that's kind of excessive. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and share it. I really depend on these things. So. Um, I will talk to you guys later.